Welcome back to the Fisher Family Farm. I'm Peyton and on today's videos we have some really cool projects that we're working on. And then later in this video, I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough tour on this project and seeing where we are at. Dustin has a whole bunch of these blocks that we're making for our fascia and soffit way high in the sky. This is probably one of the hardest things we've done so far is we are making these block fascia boxes to go all the way across this. Now I'm shooting it out pretty far because the wind hits so hard on these windows. I wanna give it as much time to not hit the windows if possible. We're going all the way down there and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna weatherproof all of these. I don't think we're gonna get back to the weatherproofing today. It's just a matter of timing. Dustin has already put in all the new bolts inside of the utility room. We are literally cruising already this morning. All right, we are installing these fascia up here on the top and they are heavy and awkward. Let's see if we can show you how we're doing this. So on these, because this roof right here has this five degree pitch, we've got both of these at five degrees. So you can see the top there drops straight off. That way the water won't hold on to it. So we'll see if we can show you how we install this guy. Set it up right here. So now that we've got this guy up here, what's gonna happen is we're gonna take our fascia, we'll drop it down here, we'll take our soffit, run it right under, and it's gonna cover up all those bolts. It'll cover up everything that we need, and then on the top pieces for our trim, we'll run little tiny trim pieces across the top. We'll run our siding down just down the sides of this, and then we'll stop it uh, right there. This is fun, huh? This is brutal, and it's sketchy because we're 10 feet up in the air. All right, our next step is to add the two by four that goes right here in the front. That's gonna help. Rack on you. What do we got? Oh, those are for the other gun. Nope, don't have enough. All right, we're just kidding. We ran out of nails. Got the model from the top. All right, we are about to nail the last of this project. So exciting. This project has been very difficult. Aw, oh, yeah. These things aren't perfectly square. We'll be able to help square the windows up a little bit. And we're putting those guys in now. Hallelujah, look at that. On to the next project. All right, we just got a new surprise here on the farm. Been waiting for this for a while. Get the baby out. Oh, yeah. It's a giant ice maker. We are now gonna be the ice making kings. So anybody that works on our job site, you can have some free ice. I'm marking out more electrical boxes now that we've got the fascia and soffit done on the outside. Inside where we went with the electrician when we walked, with him. He told me to walk again around to get all the outlets in the living room that I wanted. Uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Dustin's over on the other side starting to pound them all in and we are just making this happen. <laughs> another screw up this electrical line that i was supposed to pull out of there roll up so i could run it up through here a we cut that in a couple videos ago and b now i have to punch a one inch drill through this concrete this is not very fun Well, that's a fail because my line will not go through that. So I'm gonna have to go get a one and a half inch concrete bit and I'll probably get like a 18 or 24 inch one. That way it, it goes all the way down that. So then I can run my lines up and straight in. That's a bummer. It is what it is. We'll get that at Home Depot later. We have started the siding process. We're gonna start right here, the very first piece. But what I realized is one of the things that I forgot to do was to seal my base plates. So all we're gonna do right now is measure and cut this very first one. We're gonna get it set up right here, have it ready to be routed out. And then when it comes time, we're gonna caulk this and then we will go ahead and nail this in. All right, let's set this up and see if we got our first measurement correct. GB ready around the mountain when she comes. All right, that was just a teaser for what is to come on the siding. We got completely pounded last night again with the rain. You can literally see my shirt. My jacket was on the floor this morning and it is dripping, dripping water. Completely covered all in here and soaked the tools in the backside. This morning, the first thing we are going to do is get ready to put our underlayment on our roof up top. That way, we 
we don't have to deal with water coming into this house anymore. We got our first one on. It's a pop, 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 Just like that. You see the fascia is almost all the way on, all the way down, and then we'll be able to just tack our soffit tr -tr 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 right all the way down. Next thing is to the moon. I mean the roof. It's time now to get this underlayment up on the roof. Yeah. Steady boy. This roof is very, uh, let's say, squishy, and we're gonna be a little more careful today on where we stand, that way we keep it safe. We are ready to start laying out our pink synthetic underlayment. We've got our first line chalked ready to go, so that way we've got something to follow along, and then we're gonna go over six inches and over six inches, that way we can tack it down and give something a little bit more of that waterproofing on those edges. Now let's see how we get this first one open here. All right, perfect. What I am also watching very closely for is anything that's poking up like this guy, things that are sticking out, rocks. That way we don't have to try to fight with those as soon as we get our layman all the way down. All right, this is one giant box of roofing nails. I may have went a little overboard. It's either that or buy a ton of little tiny boxes. Ta-da! The first roll is done. Second strip is out. Now we tack for the next 20. Second row done. On to the third. Our knees are going to be very sore by the end of this. We got three all the way done here. It is so humid right now. It is incredible. This is not something in Southern Utah we're used to, we typically revolve around 10 to 25% humidity, and I bet it's right now 50, 60. And to some of you in the South, like Louisiana and stuff, you're just always laughing at us, but we're sweating like crazy. What we're trying to do is make sure that we've still got this six inches of overlay. So I'm gonna pull it back here, leave a little distance here. Grab my razor blade. I threw that up and it literally is gonna roll all the way back to him. One, two, three, four, five rolls in. It is looking amazing. All right, guys, I wanna introduce you to Ben. He is our county ag agent and he stopped by. He's just saying hi, checking out all of our projects that we're doing. In the future, he's gonna be out here helping us with tomatoes and peppers and growing plants and trees. Everything you guys need for plants. I do plants and animals a little bit. Oh, and we're gonna have some animals, animals too, so that'll work. And the reason why I'm sharing this is that I, I was listening to a podcast where they talked about if you sit on your couch at home, no one will ever come and help you. But if you're out busting your butt, <laughs> random miracles just happened like Ben called me out of the blue and said hey I want to help you I'm like who are you and now he's here and it's part of our tax dollars that are helping pay this it is super cool it's super exciting to be able to have people just show up in your life and ready to help so thank you this is looking good over halfway all right guys one more layer one more row done now you've watched this literally in about eight to ten seconds and this is taking us literally all morning this is brutal bending over over tacking these in and I don't know if you can see but every time I reach into my bag it like scrapes my fingers and I have these little tiny cuts all over my fingers so every time I'm sweating it like burns my hands it's not that much fun now I see why roofers charge so much money we are all the way up to the top yeah now we're getting into the hard part though all right I'm pretty bummed about how this turned out I couldn't figure out any other way to make this happen so the top of the greenhouse came all the way up and over here and we weren't able to staple that and I wasn't able to figure out a way how to make that to where we could get it waterproof and right now obviously the house is the most important to be waterproof and then the second we'll be utilizing this greenhouse so we'll come back up here and we'll probably put a block or something under here all the way down once we get all the sheet and once we get everything on there to see if we can stop the flow of heat coming out of the greenhouse so we can still utilize this for the rest of the summer fall really it'll just come down to seeing what happens uh, there's a lot of bombs going off right now so it's just a matter of trying to figure out what is going to be the best thing to do the most effective the most financially smart and there's a lot of things that i've screwed up on already several times so we're just going to go for now by getting this guy all cleaned up you can see we're only going to need a little strip for the rest of this top piece and we'll be all done with the top of the roof. So what we're doing on these guys is we are 
cutting this out right here so it's gonna set up nice and flat here and then we will caulk like crazy right around in this and then run our shingles and just circle those shingles and then we'll tar each section of shingles all the way around that so we're first thing we're doing is we're making sure our line still is lined up right here on this guy and then we're coming up and making sure he's nice and tight right here And that way it can sit down just nice and flat. The top of this is finally done on this side. I only have just this little bit left to do. Dustin took off for the day, super sad, but it is what it is. Hopefully I can talk Katie into getting up here and helping me. If not, then I'm gonna roll that side out all by myself. We have a special guest on the show today. It's Katie! She's helping me out for these last few sheets. We've already got two done. I think we only need three more. Wrap this baby up. Bam! One more strip down. We're so close to only having to do one. We're gonna go ahead and wrap the whole peak of this and that way it gives it way waterproof, way better, way safer. Everything's to the better. I cannot tell you how excited I am. We literally are down to our last little strip. We're gonna fold this over the top, give us tons and tons of water protection. Look at that. Oh yeah. And the wifey helped finish it off. That woman right there is incredible. Finally, after starting this roof over eight hours ago, it is blazing hot. We have finally waterproofed our roof. I'm very excited about that because it's rained the past four days in a row. You can literally still see the big water spots on the grounds from big, huge rains. Completely ripped our awning off, put it on the roof of the trailer. So we have some work to do on that. We're just gonna keep going, pushing hard. This was totally crazy. That's how many we had left out of 3,000 pieces. Probably like mm, 12 over 15 left in there. Woo! All right, we just pulled up. It's Saturday and we got one of the little cows out and he's made it out, out by the highway, which is not a good place for him to be. So we're gonna run down this highway and see if we can push him back in or see where he's getting out. So then we've got a better way to get him back in. He's pushing into this fence right here. Go on, go on, ah, ah, ah. on, back up, back up, back up on the other side. Thank you. At least we got him back inside. It's wild little guys. We really gotta do a better job on getting these fences tightened up. That way these guys quit getting out, even when they're little. I got a new toy. This is an automatic caulking gun. I got it because I forgot to put subfloor adhesive on all my green plate on the exterior of the property. So I'm gonna go around everything and get that all done and make it look good. Whoa. There it comes. All right, now this is the first time I've ever used one of these. So I'm gonna try finger behind it like I am running just a regular caulking gun. And we're gonna go from there. Oh boy, it's messy. I had to blow it all out because there was so much crap down there. This thing is absolutely incredible. I will never use a regular caulking gun again if I can help it. This is incredible. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These guys are being crazy. All right, the update on this gun is I love it. I was able to do all the way around this, all the way down this side, and all the way down here. Really rough, gnarly stuff. And I was able to do it in probably eight minutes. Whereas if I had to sit there and pump and pump and pump with a gun, that'd taken 15 minutes. And by now my forearm would be absolutely washed and I wouldn't be able to do this 60 foot section or all the way down around the garage. Having the right tool is awesome. We have a massive storm coming in. Here's the update during the storm. There is absolutely no leaking coming through this roof at all. That paper is doing awesome. The only part is that small hole over there in the wall is allowing a whole bunch of rain to come in. Only so much we can do. Katie's got a little barrier set up for the tools over here. And we are heading out for this weekend. All right, the 10 minute later update. Literally, it's almost gone. It's still a little bit windy, but the rain is almost completely gone. You can still see some clouds out here. This is so crazy how fast things come and go out here. Anyways, now we are really leaving. All right, we thought we were gone and this guy somehow got back out again. Try to scare him back in here. All right, our goal is to scare him back all the way out and around inside of the cages because he's too big to go back to the fence line. So we're gonna do our best to push him in. Okay, Lily, you see him right there? He's got his head poking out. Ha! 
Yeah. You scaring him down? You see him? You gotta be careful as these guys get bigger. They'll jump out and kick you. You run over there. It's not right here. Okay, perfect. He ran back down then over there. Let's see his feet print. Are telling us that he went this way. Yep, he went down this way. Go back in. All right, let's go. Hopefully that guy will go back. We'll go back in the cage where he came out of because we don't have the tie wires and stuff to get everything back up. Early this next week, we're gonna get everything cleaned, get those gates cleaned up good, and make it to where they're not getting out anymore. The end, finally. 